Green beans, Brussels sprouts, and peppers. Do you think that you can get the kids to eat that on their own? Sheila Johnson of Gangsta Goodies Kitchen can help with this stir fry recipe. Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to make one of our favorite dishes. It's a stir fry with a little shrimp. And so it's really fun for the kids and the family since we're all at home now. And so everyone in the family gets to put their favorite vegetable in, right? I just happen to love Brussels sprouts and that's what I had in the kitchen. So here we go. Now, if you don't have a wok at home, you can do a big cast iron skillet, a non-stick skillet, it doesn't matter. Uh, just a, you know something that's large enough so that you can put it all in. The next thing I'm gonna do is put the green beans in. Okay, and I'm now gonna start layering the flavor, y'all. Okay, so I am using just an all over, it's like a lemon pepper, has a little bit of salt in it, made by a friend of mine. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Okay. Now that we got those going. And at the very beginning, you all put just a little bit of olive oil, just maybe uh, a teaspoon or, or a tablespoon, I'm sorry, of olive oil. Let your vegetables start cooking and then by the end, you're gonna have a nice stir fry. So the next thing I'm going to add is the broccoli, okay? We got the broccoli in there. Then I'm going to add the multicolored peppers. And again, this is whatever vegetables you have at home. Everybody throw in their favorite vegetable and then so it's a great meal for everyone, right? And it's not that expensive. So I've actually made enough. This is gonna be enough for four people to eat dinner, okay? So let's stir that up. Oh my goodness, I wish you guys were here because it smells so good. Now I'm gonna add the regular yellow onion. And I'm going to add some chopped garlic, some fresh garlic, I chopped it up myself. Now that garlic is getting ready to start smelling good, y'all. Okay. We're gonna put a little more seasoning in here because we do want it to have flavor, right? Now I'm going to add uh, the shrimp, okay? And so because my vegetables are basically done, now I'm gonna add the shrimp, the shredded carrots, and a little bit of poison sauce, and voila, you will have the perfect shrimp stir fry, y'all. The lemon pepper and the garlic looks like it set things just right. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking to tap into some new recipes. So stir fry sure to be on the way. We're back after this.